Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and my son Juice and I are in the garden. It's been a while since we did an update. So today we are going to kind of walk you around, show you what we have growing and what else are we going to be doing, John? Um, harvesting our veggies. All right, what do you have in your hands? A bucket so we can put them in. A bowl, bucket, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to need that cart because from the looks of it this morning when we were back here pruning all these tomato plants, giving them some better airflow, we saw a lot of stuff that needs to be picked, yes. right? All right, so he has pruners in a bowl. Let's show you around the garden. All right, so let's jump right into it. So this is, we have two types of basil. So we have this regular basil here, and then we have air tree and basil here with the purple flowers. So to me, the air tree and basil smells like it's cinnamon, kind of, and the regular basil smells regular to me. And um, we like to use the basil for salads and pizza. So for dinner, we're going to be picking some of the basil leaves. And for the kale, we're surprised it's still growing here because it's a cool weather crop. But because the season's been going warm and some cold, that um, it's still growing here. And me and my sister love to make kale chips out of it. All right, so here I'm playing a little bit of a risky game, planting broccoli so late in the season. May in Florida in zone 8B, this is not really the time that we plant broccoli because it is a cold weather crop. But like I said, I like to experiment in the garden and play a little bit around with it. So these two plants are broccoli. Now I'm gonna walk back here because we have some cucumbers and I know there are definitely some under there hiding that we need to harvest. All right, so here we have some cucumbers. This has kind of fallen apart. Next year, I think I'm gonna do a taller trellis, but if you dig under there, John, you can find some cucumbers that are definitely ready to harvest, and if you wanna hold them up, we can see exactly what they're looking like. Now, this is a slicing cucumber variety called Market More. You see how big they are? They're a good size. Nice, here you go. There's definitely some more, because they kind of camouflage under the green leaves here. I'm gonna twist one off that I see down here. Now for some of these, you might see that they end up with a funky shape or curled when they start to grow. You see how this one is like big down here and small down here. That sometimes can signify pollination issues. Um, we haven't had too many problems in this garden. We recently got a couple of beehives. So we have somewhere around 100,000 bees. And so uh, we were hoping that they would help pollinate here in the garden here. You can put that one in there. And so far, so good. Oh, I see one on the floor right there. So, so far, so good. So it's super important because a lot of times people don't realize how important honeybees and butterflies and all bumblebees that we see here in the morning sometimes, different types of pollinators, how important they are to the garden. If you don't have them for certain crops, you may not end up with a harvest. Like anything, it won't yield you anything. Oh, look, there's a couple here, John. So this one I can see is getting attacked by some type of a pest. You see how there's holes in there? I can bet you there's probably worms in here. And that just tells me that we waited a little too long to come out here and harvest this one. So this can definitely be fed to the chickens. So we're gonna keep picking from here and then we'll show you what we get so we can head on over to the tomatoes next. All right, so here you can see my tomato plants. They're all indeterminate varieties, meaning they just keep growing and growing and growing. So we came in today and spent two hours out here pruning them all. So you can see all those little bobbles that you see that are green or yellow or orange in this case, they're all tomatoes. There's so many on all these plants and we have about 24 tomato plants total. I'm gonna walk around back and show you some of the bigger ones. So here we have a different cucumber. This is a Boston pickling cucumber. Pass it to me so we can show it real quick. So here we have a Boston pickling cucumber variety. We're supposed to pick them probably a little smaller and shorter than this for pickling. Um, so we've kind of let them go and <laughs> let me see that one, Jonathan. And that's one that we definitely let get away from us. Way, way, way too big for harvest. Um, there's one growing down the center of the thing. Oh, there's a few more. So just go ahead and cut up all those. We'll take them inside. I might have enough to make a small batch of some quick pickles. All right, so this is that second row of tomatoes from back here. Here we're gonna show you one of our biggest tomatoes that we have. You can put your hand under it so they can see how big it is. It's a huge one and it's a variety called Lady Lucy. We have another plant here, I'll show you. Same variety and you can see how massive 
these tomatoes are. All right, so the next one here is zucchini. And if you pass me that one, John, I'll show them. <laughs> this is a Caserta zucchini variety. This thing is massive. I'm definitely gonna make some zucchini boats with this one. Look at it, how huge it is. And we have several on this, on this little batch here. I think we have three plants total. Here's another one, great. Now the squash, zucchini and stuff like that is very, very important to have these pollinators in the garden. They help take the pollen and uh, obviously pollinate the plant so that we can get some fruit from it. You can cut those, the little ones. Yeah, perfect. These guys just got super big, but we can harvest them definitely a little bit smaller for sure. We could stir fry them. Hi, Pinky. And another zucchini here. My goodness, we're gonna have to grab the cart, John. We got a lot of food. Here you go. Careful with those pruners. So we're here picking more zucchini, and this is our cat Pinky, who wants to say hi again. Say hi, Pinky. And we have a huge one that's here. Let me go move real quick so I can go get it, and then we'll show you guys how massive it is. Here's oh. the big one. Let me see it. Here's this one. <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. And we have maybe a couple more, not this same size, but big too. We have some sweet potatoes here, some eggplant here. Then we have a whole row of onions and then some strawberries. And now we're gonna go look at the pumpkins. So we're here with the pumpkins. So there's one baby pumpkin here. And if we look carefully through the pumpkin patch, we'll find a, more. Here's a, another baby pumpkin. And then right here is a big, juicy, but not ready watermelon. All right, so there you have it, a quick update of the garden. If you wanna learn more about what we have going on in the garden, see some more pictures, go ahead and use the link I've included for you in the description box below. We're also going to include a link here where you can learn more about the importance of pollinators in the garden, as well as maybe some things that you can plant, uh, like a flower gardens, butterfly gardens, or things that you can plant to attract more pollinators to your yard, because they are so very important for our food supply and the environment as a whole. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos.